Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, it's my birthday today. And while I don't want to put it up on a big billboard, so everybody can congratulate me, may that be on YouTube or privately. Like, I stopped doing that like ages ago already. Birthdays get um, less meaningful in a way over the years, I suppose. Like personally, at least, I always only think that like the big numbers matter, like 30, 40, 50, whatever. Maybe the fives in between. But anyway, that's not the point. Um, the point being is, I want to give a little bit of context to today's video. Um, so I was planning this now for like I think a week. I was thinking like what to do for the birthday video, blah blah blah. Do I even make one? Um, do I just want to chill at home and rot in front of my computer? Uh, as you can see, the weather's not that great today either. Hasn't been for the last couple of days. It's been pretty rainy over the whole weekend. Yesterday it's been raining. There was a little bit of sunshine in the afternoon, but that dissipated quite quickly. Um, let me switch the music off, damn it. I really hope YouTube, did, uh, the camera didn't pick that up now. Anyway. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so, yeah, the weather's been pretty crap these past days, and I was really contemplating, do I even do anything, you know, do, do I do the usual thing? get like a big birthday cake or something and just eat the whole thing but meh as you probably seen on my videos already I'm not so hugely into sweets I mean I love sweets don't get me wrong I love sweets but eating them in this massive amounts is just ugh. I can't deal with that in a way so I've been thinking back and forth and I came to the conclusion I'm gonna go somewhere today where I have not yet been a fast food chain that came to Finland like three or four years ago something like that and it was this big deal and so on I'm not sure if um, I'm gonna put it in the video title if I have then you've guessed already where I'm going at the latest you've guessed it by the thumbnail but yeah, I'm going to Taco Bell because I've never been to Taco Bell before because I've never had a chance. Well, I've had one time the chance when, I, when it came to Finland. It must have been like 218, 219, but I think it was 218. And we were out in Helsinki and we hit the drunk munchies and I wanted to go to Taco Bell and Mari, my wife, and me said like, okay, let's go, let's try it out. But then once we got in there, it kind of like, I don't know, it seemed like way too expensive in a way. I don't know why, but stupid wife was. It seemed like really expensive in a way, at least at that particular moment, maybe because we've just been sitting in a bar and drinking for the last four hours. Or maybe I just felt like a big massive whopper because that's what we ended up having. So yeah, there is a Taco Bell uh, a couple of kilometers from here. It's gonna take a few few minutes to drive there. So you get to see something at least a bit different. Some B road or A B road at least. And it's pretty lame driving here because it's only like 60 allowed. So, yeah, it's a bit monotonous in a way, but the scenery is nice. Can't argue with that. And there's a lake right uh, next to us on the right hand side. It's actually where I filmed my outdoor video. There's a couple of really, really nice spots there. But yeah, I'm planning to show one or two more, but like I said, the weather's pretty crap at the moment, so yeah. Autumn in Finland is usually quite 
cold and wet so yeah we'll just have to wait and see what the next week brings so the next actually the next two days so apparently the next two days is going to be nice but yeah anyway um this wasn't actually supposed to be my next video like that was supposed to be between my last and this one that was supposed to be a video in between which actually filmed yesterday we're having a spicy noodle challenge two time spicy bulldog noodles habanero kimchi chiagai ghost pepper cheese noodles oh this is really spicy <coughs> Yeah, that didn't go so well. <laughs> so the idea was to, to have a spicy challenge and build up the heat from dish to dish. And I had three different types of um, ramen. But the thing is that, so I had the Sam, the Sam Yang ramen, the, the, the two times spicy, bulldog, whatever. And then to cups of which was one the habanero and one ghost pepper with cheese and I wanted to eat them all consecu consecutively maybe even without drinking anything as well like in my head it was like a fun video but yeah that didn't go too well <laughs> because I'm telling you I don't know what it is that they put in the Samyang noodles like in the sauce. Oh crap, the thing is really cheap. The petrol. Oh my god. It's a massive queue. Well no one that's the first time on the 210. Anyway. Um yeah so I have no idea what they put in the Samyang noodles. Like in the sauce because I swear to God it is not the Scoville's that they say it is. I think I searched it once online and it was like 8,000, a bit over 8,000. And if you have some sort of like knowledge over the Scoville levels of different stuff, different peppers and sauces, you know that 8,000 is it's not that much. Like I think the Sriracha was like 2,000, Tabasco is like three or 4,000 or something. Cayenne pepper is like 50,000. And I don't think cayenne pepper is that spicy. Like Tabasco can eat like easily. Same with Sriracha, I can dump that on anything basically. And I love spicy food. But there's something that, I don't, I don't know, is it the way they make it or is there something that they put in it or is it the pepper that they're using? But I swear to God, it is not 8,000. Scoville units. It can't be. I had the, I don't know, like half the portion. And I didn't remember how spicy they were. Like I've had them a couple of times now for the videos and also then like outside of videos, obviously. And I could not remember how spicy they were. And God, they kicked my ass. But properly. And I made sure that like I ate something before. What you usually do like with spicy challenges, you like, you don't want to do them on an empty stomach that's like has bad news written all over it um what else i kind of like mentally prepared myself i don't know if that counts but in my head it does but oh my god they kicked my ass and later on like i finished i finished that bowl and then i had the habanero ones and i swear to god the habaneros weren't even half as spicy as the Samyang two times spicy. So I have no idea what's up with those noodles. And I also have no idea how people want to eat those for pleasure. <laughs> it's absolutely beyond me. But yeah, anyway, I guess I'll be making a new video of that spicy challenge, I guess. I'm not quite sure. The funny thing is that the, the, the ghost pepper noodles, I tried them obviously like after the video, once I got back my composure. They're spicy, but they're fine. The habanero ones, meh. 
They were also spicy, but more than fine. But yeah, I don't know. The, the Samyangs, they are absolutely... Like, I'm just going to call them evil noodles from now on. Because they are absolutely evil and devastating. But yeah, anyhow, so much to that. Um, I'm almost at Taco Bell. So I will be grabbing my stuff. And then we're going to find a nice spot to eat in. I haven't quite decided yet where we're going to go. But yeah. There we go. Whoop, whoop. First time Taco Bell. Um, hi, could I please have the box for one? Yeah, you want it with the regular nachos or add uh, with 160 the sauces on it? Uh, I'll take it with the sauces, please. Yeah, with the sauces. Yes, and then, um, what was the other one? Uh, the grilled stuffed burrito, please. Yeah. Just, uh, just the burrito. Are, just burrito? Yeah. Uh, with yellow panels or not? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, and what about the uh, bottle one? What is the drink for it? Uh, do you have Fanta Zero? Yeah. I'll take that then. Anything else? That's all, thank you. Thank you, come to the window please. Alright, thank you. This window? I guess it's this one. Quite you. Hi. Hi. So, look for one with the upgrade nachos, uh, with Fanta Zero, and first up burrito. Just the item with yellow banners. Yes. yes. Uh, with the card? Ah, uh, yeah, the card, please. Yes. Uh, so, 21. Fantastic. Thank yep, thank, thank you. you. Service is really friendly. I mean, they usually are here in Finland. I don't know, you should let me know, like, what's your, like, in your hometown or in your country, what's your experience with fast food workers? So I've seen many things. Like, I know in the States, for instance, they have to take a lot of shit. Like, quite a lot. Um, yeah, I think that's a bit, un no, not un even unfair, that's completely out of the question. Like, you know, you should always treat, especially the service workers, with a ton of respect. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about, it's not easy. It's not an easy job. I guess this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna wait for my stuff and I'll get back to you and then we're gonna find a nice spot and have a first taste. Oh, for Taco Bell. All right, so here we are. Um, I didn't quite find the place that I wanted to go to. Well, actually, I did find it, but it's a bit inaccessible with the car. So I'm going to keep that for another video. But anyway, I'm here at this parking spot. There's actually quite a nice view. So let's get tucked in. So first, uh, Taco Bell ever. And looks amazing. I'm really excited. Heard a lot and good and bad about these hot sauces. And I don't know what to go for. I'm gonna go with the normal crunchy taco right here let's give this a whirl hmm
I like the sauce. It's quite nice. Fanta Zero, my new favorite drink, I think. Matches. Hmm. I have to say, nice, pretty basic cheese sauce though. And the one thing I would have wished is that the sauce is a bit more evenly distributed. But hey, can't have everything right. Soft taco. Where are my sauces? Sauce could also be a bit more spicy. Oh, come here. No, that's a white one. I guess everybody knows what a soft taco looks like. Oops. See what like, guac is all about. Get the nachos all quacked up. Mm. 
This was the one I was actually most excited about. I love a good burrito. I was hoping for some... Oh yeah. Where did you come out from? I was hoping for some sunshine, but nah. admit I wasn't really expecting a lot from the burrito but it's actually really good mm. extra hot sauce next time. I like the nacho chips. <laughs> Not the biggest fan of the cheese sauce. But what can you expect? Actually a friend of mine. <clears throat> He's convinced that the Burger King cheese sauce is the best cheese sauce there is, like hands down. I guess the standards are very high. Well, he also microwaves deep um, frozen pizza, so. Straight from the freezer. I guess that says everything. There's not much I can do wrong with this. <clears throat> also, the most interesting one. I don't remember now. Is this the chalupa or the cortita? Anyway, here it goes. The 
this seems to be quite popular spot. A little bit too liquid for my liking. bread is real good. So this is what I mean, I meant before, most of the sauce of the matches. There's the sour cream, and there's basically all of the sauce. Of the cheese sauce, I mean. Well, let's make it ultra saucy. Let's get all that quack there. There's a nasty mess. So, this was rather enjoyable. I didn't go to <coughs> Taco Bell with the big, biggest expectations. I mean, it's a fast food chain, right? So, I'm afraid I've read mixed things about it. But hey, for what it is, it's pretty good. I would go again. Anyway, I'm gonna finish off my cinnamon twist here. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and pray that the weather's gonna be good in the next couple of days. Then I can shoot actually a bit more out there because shooting in the rain or in the drizzle is a bit of a pain, especially with the camera. Have a good one and see you in the next video.